Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share John 8, 1 to 11. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people were coming to him. And he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman caught in adultery, and having set her in the center of the court, they said to him, Teacher, this woman has been caught in adultery in the very act. Now, in the law of Moses, commanded us to stone such women. What then do you say? Where they were saying this, testing him, so that they might have grounds for accusing him. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground. But when they persisted in asking him, he straightened up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he stooped down and rode on the ground. When they heard it, they began to go out one by one, beginning with the older ones, and he was left alone. And the woman, where she was in the center of the court, straightening up, Jesus said to her, Woman, where are they? Did no one condemn you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said, I do not condemn you either. Go, from now on, sin no more. John 8, 1 to 11. Jesus exposes the Pharisees. Once again, the Pharisees and scribes prove their schemes to bring down Jesus in this account. They brought to Jesus a woman caught in adultery, and they wanted to trick and test how Jesus would respond to the law of stoning caught in such sin. Did you ever wonder what Jesus was writing on the ground that stopped them from stoning the adulterous woman? One interesting theory is that Jesus wrote the name of each stone holding accuser, from the oldest to the youngest. They were so amazed at his supernatural knowledge that they dropped their ammunition, stunned and silenced. All accusers departed from the oldest to the youngest. During those times, when someone was caught in adultery, both man and woman would be brought to the temple gates and, ac and accused. If there were witnesses to confirm the adultery, there will be a ceremony to bring judgment. However, in this instance, they only brought the woman. This was a violation of the oral law of God. The, pr the priests was required to stoop down and write the law that was broken and the accused in the dust of the floor of the temple, which the Pharisees and scribes didn't do. But Jesus did, so they were actually breaking the law. Reflection. Why are the Pharisees relentless in proving that Jesus was an imposter? Because they will be exposed. So the reason why they are relentless to, um, to apprehend Jesus and stop him from speaking the truth is because they will be exposed with all their hypocrisy, with all their breaking the law. They are so concerned about people following the law, and yet they broke the, the law themselves. Just in this example, they brought a woman by herself caught in adultery. Where is the man? Because in that time, you're supposed to have the man and the woman who were caught in adultery judged by, every, by everyone there. And then they were supposed to write on, on, the, on, on the floor of the temple what the sin was and their names, and they didn't do that. Why? Because they only wanted to trick Jesus and to make sure that Jesus would make a mistake. But they, it bounced back on them, so it, it comes out that they were the one exposed of not following the law. And... And Jesus is actually the one who followed the law and wrote probably the names of, the, of, of those who are all sinning, trying to stone that woman on, on, um, who was caught in adultery. So it's interesting how people who are counterfeit likes to hide. They like to hide and make sure that they look good. Um, and they don't care about the truth. They don't care about the law. They don't care about following anything. But they only care about their reputation. So be careful. When you start uh, protecting your reputation so much, there must be something going on in there. 
So I encourage you to reflect and examine yourself whether there is a sin that needs to be exposed so that you can repent and confess it to the Lord and He will make you free and new. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks and photographs. And I hope you check and subscribe my channel uh, so that I'll be able to make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching. God loves you and so do I.